clip that has audio will show the audio waves in the clip and will also have an audio bar that you can adjust to lower the volume or raise the volume of the entire clip. Zero decibels is the standard volume level of a clip. If you're going to have music playing in the background, a decent level for background music is right around negative 20 decibels, but you want to play around with it yourself to find what works best for your project. to fade or lower a specific section of audio in your project, there's a number of ways to do that. The easiest way to do it is through the fade handles that are present at the beginning and end of every clip that has audio. So you can see your cursor turns into the two little arrows when you're over the fade handle and you can click and drag it to adjust the amount of fade that you want at the beginning or end of your clip. So if we want this clip to fade out, and we want this clip to fade in, we would then adjust this one so they're a little bit layered, and this audio is going to fade out as this audio is fading in. You also have these fade handles in your video files, so if you need to fade out the audio of the people talking, you can grab the fade handle in the video file as well. If you want to fade a section of your audio that is not at the beginning or the end of a clip, there's a couple ways we can do that as well. So what we would want to do if we want to fade in the middle is put in a pen mark. To get a pen mark, you would hold the option key on your keyboard and click on the volume line where you want the fade to start. You'll need a pen mark for each fade area and then we can drag the pen marks up or down to adjust the volume level for fading, whether we want the volume to fade up or to fade down. The other way that we can fade a section is to grab our range selection tool. Once you have your range selection tool, you just need to click and drag over the area where you want to adjust the volume, grab the volume bar, and then drag it up or down. Then you can see the pen marks come in automatically for you, and you can make adjustments to them to adjust the amount of fade that comes in and out. So those are the ways that we have to adjust our audio.